Now let's go face this brawl dog. And this is a rather creepy little girl's toy. Oh no! Somebody needs an exorcist! <laughs> no, sorry. I like making that joke with this boss ever since I first saw him after I saw the exorcist for my first time. But yes, you need to make sure he's KO'd so you can do a corkscrew, just like the purple sprites when said. And we piled right in the ground. Poor little doll. But you know what? He was evil, and he has this little laser thing that you might want to avoid just cause. And he has that wave thing that can give you damage. Just let him do his wave thing with his wings. And we got him. Uh, uh, got him. Kind of dizzy. And let's pour, let's pile drive him into the ground. Now he starts shooting more lasers to kill us. Okay. But the bosses are overall in this game are super easy. All you really the it's kind of a rinse and repeat. They have they have di different they have a different theme to them, and they're a different type of boss. But in the end, you always need to somehow pile drive them into the ground. The pile driver is probably the most important move in this game, <laughs> considering all the uh, considering after uh, after the first two bosses, the green fist and the sandworm, starting with Dino Mighty and everybody after that, you a with the exception of the of a boss of a level in World Four. You basically just need to punch them many times so they get really dizzy so they can't move and then just pile drive them into the ground. So kind of repetitive. But it's still fine. Alright, he's down to one life. Whoa. How did I avoid all those? I have no idea, honestly. Yeah, now he starts doing really fast wings, yeah. Alright, he's down. Oh wow, he jumped in to grab him. That was cool. And then, pal dropped on the ground and he's all over. Come on, give me points, give me points. Wow, that's it. <laughs> and it doesn't matter because he's done in this world is 100%. Ah. And we got some bonus here. Alright, six triple four is our total right now. We get a ha another half of a heart container to give us five and a half hearts of health. And this is actually it's actually one of the two big levels in World 2 that's my favorite. It's either Horror Manor or this upcoming one. But hold on, let me give a quick check. Yeah, I got everything in, in the Horror Manor. So now we're going to continue in um... In spooktastic, to, in spooktastic world, for our quest for the key, for another shard of the key to the warrior's chest, in this next level. So let's go. This is the wonky circus. It's either this one or Horror Manor. They're kind of tied for my favorite level in this game. But now I have to think about it. I think it's a. Uh, I think it's Horror Manor, but this one's a close second. This is a pretty weird and wonky gimmick, and the boss is very weird and creepy too. But maybe creepy, maybe that's just me because I've always been creeped out by clowns, but... Well, a lot of... It actually, to people who don't think clowns are that scary, it actually happens more often than I think to people that, where they're scared of clowns. Oh, I don't need it. I haven't taken a hit yet, but let's hit the button to activate the first chest in this level. And let's get the first Spritesling while we're at it. Oh, Electric Clown Fence. Remember in the gimmick thing that will block the way is the big bone in Horror Manor? Well, this is the Electric Clown Fence, and I find this one rather annoying. But anyway... I do love this level, I must say. It's weird. Don't get me wrong, it's actually... Well, all the levels of Mario World are weird in very, wi in very many ways. But this level's particularly weird. Like I said, especially the boss. But we'll get to the boss later. Here's the... 
as I was saying, here's the first tower fragment, and here's the first treasure chest, and all the treasures in this level are instruments, I find that rather interesting, and this is the bugle. But anyway, and also here's the first level, sub-level. There's also a heart fragment here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna wait for these spikes. Let's go. I'm just gonna climb slowly until they're out of the way. Alright. Well, here's the diamond. And here's the heart fragment. Alright. We're all fine and dandy, but let me take a look at something here. Is there something else in here? That's another letter. Unless it's the... Ah, uh, it's probably just to the other side. Anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, this is kind of an uncomfortable camera angle, but we did it. And here's the electric clown fence. So what you're supposed to do is take the enemies and throw it at the target. And there are actually many of these in this level. If you remember in, level, in the Horror Man, there are only two big bones. In this level, there are quite a few, if, I, if my memory works to my advantage. Let's just take this one, then. Alright, and I think you need to hit each target of the fence three times, and we did a pretty good job. Any more coins? Nice! Big money. And here is another sub-level. And yeah, the, the pterodactyls in this level are uh, pigeons. Don't ask why, they're just pigeons. Eh, sure. Oh yes. This one. You need to you need this is where mobile will teach you. You need to press R to do a charge and then press A to jump so we can jump over those spikes. And that didn't do very well. Hold on. I'm gonna try that again. I can't do that without taking a hit, can I? Yeah, I've never been able to do that. But anyway, here's the diamond. We'll find some garlic on the way. Let's get out of here. Wait a second. I want to go back in, in there for a sec. I want to go back in there for a sec. Wow. Uh, after this, I might take a nap. But anyway, yeah, the garlic. Thank you. But... Hold the phone. Is this... Hmm. I guess there is no heart fragment in here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Show me the money. Anyway, let's go. Alright, I guess there wasn't. Hmm. Felt kind of weird. Oh, well. Let's go. I hear a sprite swing, but I don't think there's anything else back there. So let's move on. These things are going to be used to launch yourself across. But before I do that... I hear a heart fragment. Oh, crystal battle. It's a blue one. And like I said, the spaces get smaller. Like, you should see how small it is in the, la in the last huge level of Wario World. How small the space is to battle. Well, I didn't, mean, I didn't need to do that. I just wanted to kill him. The crystal. There's another one. Anyway. Oh, I don't want to get poked by that guy's spear. And we're done. Go away, will you? Will ya? Okay, thank you. And he's done. And we knocked out some of them while we're at it. Okay. But I'm not going to go just... Yeah, there, there was more stuff on top, so I'm not going down here yet. Well, there's about nothing else down here. Let's just do the level. Yeah, let's just grab one of these guys, clowns, and let's go. Oh, this one. Why do I always seem to fail right away? Basically, you're supposed to do as the platforms rising and lower, you need to get across. And we are going to do that, and they flip and turn, rise and descend, like I said. 
And I'd like to get the one exactly vertical from that platform so I can get over there successfully. And I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, pfft. that was a complete fail. I wanted to get those coins. Oh well. We got the heart fragment, we got the diamond, let's go. Let me check. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. No. Uh. What is wrong with me? Okay. Besides a lot of things. I hear a heart fragment jingle. Maybe there's one like above or something? Yeah, use those things to launch yourself. And I'm gonna go over here for. S oh, there it is. I got it. Okay. And I hear a sprightling. Yes, you'll be heard. Oh, uh, I like to check over here for. S oh, just a button. All right. I hit the button. Alright, and this is a cool gimmick, like the circus acrobats. You need to use that, well, to get from place to place, but first I'm going to go to the right because I don't I don't think that progresses. There's just stuff over there. Yeah, like I said, there's just stuff over here. Um, just the, oh, just the Spritzel. Let's get him. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I use the stick to change the camera, but I, I already taught that in the sub-levels. Stupid Spritely. He's like, I, I'm telling you, they're very similar to Navi. They're like, very similar to Navi. There's probably more stuff on the way throughout these things. I'm gonna go up first. I have a feeling there's something up here. Yep, a chest. Alright. So not a total loss. They're not the most stuff up there. Let's go. Oh yes, this is rather weird. I think I got everything over there, so I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think I got over everything over there. Yeah, I did. I did. I. Well, no, 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 no. I did. I did. I did. Anyway, let's check out this trap door. There's a heart fragment here. Why do I always get so excited about the heart fragments? I don't know. All these cloud platforms, let me show you what they do. They fade very quickly. And they come to my annoyance in the last big level in this game. In one of the sub-levels, which is my most hated sub-level in this whole game. But I won't get into that until about two worlds. Yeah, they, I thought there was a heart fragment up here. And... Yeah, we got everything. Let's go. 